when you die on a hardcore server, you'll be banned. But I think there's something else you can do, which is pretty cool. So let's say I stumble upon a random guy over here and he kills me. Now, instead of being banned, I'll become a spectator. As you can see, I'll be following this random guy over here and I'll actually look in the direction he is looking. But when he looks down or up, I'll still be looking in the same direction. This is pretty useful when you want to make a spectating system in a minigame or a hardcore server. Or perhaps you just want to troll your friends. Okay, it does look a bit glitchy, but it turned out better than I expected. Well, unless you have a lot of lag, of course. We'll start with creating a new objective in the scoreboard. Using this command, you'll create a scoreboard objective that increases every time someone dies. I'll make the score visible in the sidebar, just so you can see what's going on. But in an actual minigame or on a server, this obviously isn't necessary. So let's say a random guy just died, so his score will be set to 1. Now we have a way of actually selecting a player. For example, when we use the command say at all, you'll get a list of all the players that are online. But when we use the command say at all square bracket score underscore dead underscore min is one square bracket, the command will look at any player with a score dead set to one or higher. When you remove this min part, the command will look for any player with a score set to one or lower. Instead of using these selectors in a say command, you can also use them in a tp command, which is what we're going to do right now. We're going to teleport any player with its score set to 1 or higher to any other player with score set to 0 or lower. Let's see what happens. When I press the button, I'll be teleported to this player because he has his score set to 0 and I've got my score set to 1. The next thing we'll do is teleport the spectator or the guy with the score set to 1 or higher. We'll teleport him two blocks upwards. So when we power both commands, I'll be teleported just above the player. Now let's connect these two command blocks to a fast clock. Use these two command blocks to create a fast clock. Place a redstone block in the middle and now basically anything you connect to this clock will be powered very fast. Even though you can't see the door opening and closing, you sure can hear it. Now let's connect our two TP command blocks to this clock. But now I'm teleported inside this guy, not above him. That's because for some reason this command block gets powered first. Just switch the positions and you should be hovering above the player. Now let's just add a nice touch to this. In the latest snapshot you can also teleport players using two extra rotation coordinates. The first coordinate is to rotate the player like this and the second one is to rotate the player like this. So we'll add a tilde for the first coordinate, that way the spectator is just looking in the direction the other player is looking. And we'll set the second coordinate to 65, that way the spectator is always looking down. You can also use a tilde for the second coordinate, but then when the player looks up, the spectator will also look up, and that can be a bit annoying sometimes. Now we'll just add the invisibility effect and the resistance effect, so the spectator won't die again when he suffocates in a block for example. And that's it, use it wisely. If you want to actually troll your friends, you can also just attach this command to a clock and you'll have to replace this with the player you want to troll. This way they can still move, but they can't look in any other direction. And if you want to look in another direction again, you just have to break this command block. Uh, uh, wait, oh, oh.